Just when we thought we heard it all about the NSA and all the spying and nefarious activity, listen to this. Der Spiegel, a German uh, magazine, very large by the way, uh, and later published and corroborated by Associated Press, are saying that there's unbelievable <laughs> technology out there that NSA is using far beyond just tapping our phones and our emails. Ah, the double-edged sword of spying. and Privacy versus legitimate spying on would be enemies of the state. Problem is, sometimes this administration looks at the citizens as enemy of the state, particularly of your uh, Tea Party or conservative persuasion or Christian. At any rate, here's what's been going on. NSA has a whole bunch of new stuff that was showcased at, get this, the Chaos Technology Conference in Germany. Well, I guess there is a conference called Chaos. I've never gone to it. I remember the old Maxwell Smart days on Get Smart. There was chaos and control, right? Well, anyway, I digress. Here's some of the things they say that NSA is able to do now. They've got iPhones that have become mini eavesdropping tools, and they just put a little bit of malicious software in there, and you got a miniature pocket size spy. They have radar wave devices now. They just send waves off. You don't even have to be connected to the internet. You just be out there typing away on your keyboard and by the amount it goes up and down on the keyboard from a long distance, they know your keystrokes. I don't know what they have to, to need about what I'm thinking about when I'm writing these things. I guess because I'm not typing right now, so maybe they can read my lips from afar. Then they have intercept computers, um, what they do is they basically ship the computers from point A to point B. Somebody's buying them. And then along the way, either Federal Express or UPS has somebody in there that just pulls them offline, cuts them open. Of course, not really with UPS or FedEx or somebody in a uniform or however those spies do that sort of thing. They slice them open. They slip in another one. So they put a spy chip in your brand new PC. Oh, what else do they have here? Um, it's a guy by the name of Applebaum. I went to school with a guy named Steve Applebaum. I wonder if they're related. But this particular Applebaum is saying that uh, the material that he got now is not necessarily from Edward Snowden, although he won't deny it either. He and Der Spiegel did work together to expose a lot of the stuff that they had before. So the question is, who should we trust? Who should be allowed us to use these high-tech snooping tools? Hey, Walmart has RFID D chips that would track your underwear from the point you're at the cash register all the way to they go into the garbage dump. So if they have that, can you just imagine what kind of high-tech tools there are that have not yet been disclosed that are in the hands of mere mortals deciding on what other mere mortals they should spy on?